Have you ever felt a little bit awkward by inviting someone to a product presentation and then they come to your home party and all of a sudden you are presenting your business opportunity that is going to change their life forever? Like, believe me, I've been there. It's been so awkward many, many times over. People were looking at me completely and utterly confused about what they were hearing, literally. So, you know, when we think about it, actually, if we go to a makeup counter in whatever shopping mall in the world, and then we are coming to buy some makeup, and all of a sudden the sales assistant is asking us whether we want to join their team, we would be a little bit confused and look at them like, that's weird, what, what's going on? So this is why in this episode number 101, I'm going to share with you the one simple decision that you need to make in order to remove the, awkward, the awkwardness forever and also to make you feel congruent at all times. So stay tuned. Hey, hey, Thierry here from ThierryVAlexander.com. I help makeup artists, network marketers, and entrepreneurs create an effective presence online so you can monetize your brand much faster, easier, and while having fun along the way. If you're new here, consider subscribing because each and every week I do create a new video training and I also attach a PDF, a cheat sheet, a guide of some sort to empower you in your own way within your business that you can print and then use immediately. In this week's episode, I want to share with you the one, simple, the, the one simple decision that you need to make in order to remove the awkwardness and also feel congruent at all times within your business. The very important aspect in your business, in any business actually, is to make sure to be congruent at all times with what you are doing what you're planning to do, as well as the message that you're putting out there. To put the right message across to your audience, it is necessary to make sure that you are in alignment and know the direction that you want to take. So let's take a look at the few options that you've got here. So typically speaking, in network marketing, it is either you've got a lead with the product or the opportunity of your business. Now, if you're a makeup artist, it's actually very similar because if you are serving your brides and or you want to build a team of makeup artists, then your content is going to be slightly different, hey? Let's talk about the product route that you can take. It is really important to know what is it that you want to lead with because that is the one thing you're going to be the, the go-to person for. People are going to remind you for what you have, what you do, and how you do it. If you're talking about everything and anything, people are going to get confused and very rarely refer anyone to you because they don't know what to refer people to you for, right? So let's... Take the example that you are a makeup artist and you're deciding to take the product route, then in that case, you might want to lead with uh, you know, your product and service, which might most likely be an audience such as bridals. Okay, I'm just going to take that example. It can be many other uh, type of audiences, of course, but that's going to be the most obvious uh, type of example I can I can give you. Now it would be a little bit weird if you were talking to your bride and having a makeup session with her and say, hey, how about joining my team? I'm actually building a makeup artist team that I'm sending to jobs for for bridals. How about you join my team? I would love to have you on my team. That would feel a little bit awkward and kind of weird, hey? Unless this person is a makeup artist and there's, you know, a, a, a conversation that is natural in going down that route, but otherwise it will definitely not be suitable for the actual set. On the other side, you have the business route that you can actually lead with. Now, again, with makeup artist examples, let's remain on the same sort of congruent topic here. If you're sharing some tips and techniques on how to run a makeup business, how to build a team of makeup artists because you're doing it so you can teach it, it would be a little bit awkward if you are asking people to book you for 
a maker blessing. I mean, you can mix it kind of thing, hey, but uh, unless you are the the uh, train the trainer, so uh, the the make bodies who, who, who helps the the make bodies become a make artist, right? I mean, did that make any sense? So you you can of course have makeup sessions with other makeup artists if you lead with the the business and also with your regular clients but you've got to know what you're leading with to not confuse your people because if you start talking about business tips and how to build a business how to run a team how to manage a team behind the scenes and etc etc your audience if you truly want to work with bridals going back to the to the initial example they're going to get confused. They're going to think, well, I don't want to run a business. So is this guy or this gal is not the person I want to actually book for my wedding because they are talking business stuff, right? They are obviously training other makeup artists doing makeup, which makes total sense. Now, of course, there's a way of doing it together in some ways. You can mix a little bit of both. But before we get into this, you know that each and every single week I'm giving you access to a free resource of some sorts to empower you in your own way. And this week, because we're talking about what to take as a route, you know, product or business route, I just bring back one of my guides, which is the personal branding guide Teach, share, sharing with you some tips on how to position yourself as an authority in the field and that way people are really seeing you as the go-to person for whatever it is that you might be doing maybe makeup network marketing other any any other business in fact so if you want to get access to this personal branding guide just click the yellow button below this video and that will be sent automatically to your email box if you are on my YouTube channel or any other platform, then just go into the description section, you'll see a link that will take you back to my blog. And again, below this video, you'll see a massive yellow button that you cannot miss at all. Once you click it, that will send you the personal branding guide into your email box. So now, how can you actually mix a little bit of both? You might be wondering the way, can, how can you do that? If you love both sides, business, and the product side. And do you know what? I totally relate to you because that's a question I've asked myself for so many years at the start of my career as an entrepreneur. And the, the answer is actually very simple. It's that you just need to decide which one you love, you would love to lead with the most, the most with, and go with that. Just post as much as you can with that one, on your timeline, do Facebook lives about it, share all your knowledge and, and your content, your value content with the one you want to go and lead with the most. And with the other part, you just share some glimpse of it within your stories. The stories are the great place to actually share the other side of what you love talking about. But just pick the one you really, truly always want to talk about and you love. There's definitely one that you prefer than the other, right? I love makeup, for example, but then I definitely prefer the business, the business side of everything that I do. I love network marketing because I'm involved in there as well, but definitely the business side of that, that, that I prefer as well. That's the reason why you see me talking about business tips, marketing, personal branding, etc., lead generation and everything else around because that's my jam. That's what I love. Hey, and actually you see, I've managed to combine two different fields, two different industries together because I'm leading with what I love most and the rest is at the back and I can give some glimpses on my stories as well. So in conclusion, really, it is just making sure that you are leading with what you love the most and the rest to sparkle it, to give some glimpses on your stories for people to know but not necessarily feeling confused about what you're doing. And remember, I've got also your back with my personal branding guide that is going to be there giving you some tips on how to position yourself as an authority in your field, whether you're a makeup artist, a network marketer, or any other field that you might be part of. That is a really great 
start to go through that guide and make sure that you have the basic of everything to put yourself as an authority online. So if you want to get access to it, just click the yellow button below this video again and that will be sent automatically to your email box. Did you get value out of this video training? I truly hope that you did. If you did, of course, you know what to do. Just smash the share button, send it to your fellow net marketers, makeup artists, entrepreneurs, whomever you think could benefit from what we just talked about today or even the freebie of on its own and I'm sure they will thank you for it. Question of the week. What do you prefer to lead with? Is it product that you love talking the most about or the business side of what you do that you prefer talking about? Let me know in the comment section. I just want to see what is it that, what's your jam and what is it that you prefer to actually lead with and empower your people, your audience with, what is it that they are trying to get out of you most of the time. That might be a clue as well for you to know what to lead with, by the way. One bonus tip here for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you got value from it again. I really truly appreciate connecting with you each and every single week. This episode is a wrap. I will see you on the next video. Bye bye bye.